sorry and today we are going to discuss one very interesting fact of mathematics that is there is a one very basic difference that finite set has finite element and infinite set has infinite element but i'm not going to uh, focus on that difference there is one very uh, conceptual difference between finite set and infinite set this question is asked in many uh, interviews uh, i think uh, because i heard uh, that question asked in iit's interview or something else but the conceptual difference of finite set and infinite set is what finite set obviously finite set uh, looks like like this right finite set means uh, n number of element finite element right and infinite set has a, uh, i think uh, one example uh, like a set of natural number like this like this right now obviously there is a difference finite element infinite element right but second difference is very important uh, we should know we should know that i write this statement every infinite set infinite set this is the main difference has always always one at least one always i can say has always proper subset which is similar to that set this is the main difference between finite set and infinite set because this statement is not true for finite set every infinite set has always at least one at least one maybe um, more than that but at least one every infinite set has always at least one proper subset which is similar to that set set itself okay how how because i write here example an infinite set this property is not hold because we cannot say the proper subset of finite set is similar to that set because if you want to take proper subset of finite set obviously first of all we uh, will uh, we discuss about finite set if i take proper subset of any finite set so suppose i take set of n elements set of n elements like this up to form n right and if uh, we want to take proper subset of that set and that means we have to remove at least one element we have to remove at least one element for proper subset right and if i remove one element and that means that set we get 1 2 3 up to form n minus 1 element it has an element if i remove at least one element to make the proper subset then it has n minus 1 element and obviously this one and this one is not similar set uh, you know the similarity if there is a one to one correspondence between that two set then that two sets are said to be similar so this is not similar then right and if you take itself then it's not a proper subset right but in infinite case this is happen right suppose i take set of natural number 1 2 3 and so on right suppose i take natural number set of natural number and i try to um, um, uh, find its proper subset at least one right suppose i define one e and that is 2 4 6 and so on and so on so i just uh, collect the e1 number 2 4 6 8 10 like this and so on infinite now this e is e is proper subset proper subset of set of natural number e is proper subset of set of natural number proper because there are some element which is not in e and this is in n set of natural number right so e is a proper subset clear of set of natural number now how we can say this is similar to this one because if there is one to one correspondence between two set then that set is said to be that set are said to be similar set now if i define one mapping 
f from set of natural number 2e such that f of n equals to 2n f of n equals to 2n now you can easily observe the image of 1 is 2 image of 2 is 4 image of 3 is 6 right so there is one one mapping because distinct element has a distinct images one has image 2 and 2 has image 4 so every every number so distinct element has a distinct image and also every number from e has a pre image in set of natural number every number every number so function is 1 1 as well as on 2 and if function is 1 1 and on 2 we say n and e are equipotential or we can say similar this is the symbol i am not writing equals to this is equipotential or similar so this is infinite set we get a proper subset of that which is similar to n right you can take any any example i just uh, take one uh, one or two more examples to understand uh, the concept now see uh, if i take set of real number and its proper subset i take open interval 0 1 and you know the set of real number is uncountable and open interval 0 1 is also uncountable its cardinality is continuum its cardinality is continuum so equipotential or equivalent or i can say similar so open interval 0 1 is similar to r set of real number right same way set of integer is similar to set of natural number even though set of natural number is a proper subset of set of integer so what i want to tell you that difference between finite set and infinite set is what in infinite set there is always at least one its proper subset which is similar to that you can take any infinite set and try to um, sort out a proper subset uh, yourself and in finite set this is very simple right finite set we have to remove at least one element to make a proper subset and if we remove at least one then it is not similar to that set right so this is the conceptual difference between finite set and infinite set so thank you for watching this video thank you very much